round three of the Lotto NRFL men's premiere saw Western Springs take on Hamilton Wanderers at Seddon Fields. Both sides were searching for three points after falling to defeat in round two. Hamilton packed their side full of experience on Saturday, with Tommy Semi, Henry Far Rodo, and Derek Taiku leading the front three. Western Springs, on the other hand, had a mixture of youth and experience, with notable players such as Josh Margetts, Scott Midgley, and Ronan Wynn, who was the brother of Bill White, Declan Wynn. In the early stages of the match, Western Springs let themselves known with Josh Margetts smacking this effort on goal, putting the hoops ahead. Springs had all the momentum, and Margetts even tried to add to his goal tally with this acrobatic attempt. Hamilton came back, and with this cross from Tommy Semi, he found Henry Farrona who danced around the keeper and prodded home the equaliser. About a minute later, Hamilton bursted through on the counter-attack, with Tommy Semi dispossessing Bradley Thomas and slipping the ball past Ruben Parker to put Hamilton up by 2-1. This time Hamilton were charging forward with chances left, right and centre. This effort from Derek Taiku had the ball straight at Parker. Springs fired back with ball swinging in this cross into the box, but Hayden Ayesh couldn't quite find the target. In the 26 minutes, Semi bursted down the left wing and slipped this knee ball into the Taiku, who smacked the ball into the bottom corner, extending the lead for Hamilton. Springs were looking to salvage something and came very close when Townsend was caught off his line, but a quick recovery saw the Hamilton keeper deny any sight on goal. This corner from Hamilton saw Far Rodo side volley this shot, but it was punched away by Parker. In the second half, Margetts pulled off this slick pass to Schnell to put Bull in on goal. But Joseph Harris came in with this solid tackle to deny any threat on goal. Hamilton were looking to build on their lead, with Taiku putting in this ball for Alex Frank. Parker was here to pick up the scraps. Immediately on the counter-attack, Dylan Bull and Corey Townsend clashed bodies, leaving Bull on the ground. Bradley Whitworth slipped this sublime ball to Semi, who came in with this explosive run, but Parker got there first. Hamilton was still hungry for more goals, and this perfect ball into Taiku from Davidson almost saw Hamilton score. The home fans had a shock midway through the second half with Tommy Semi rattling the crossbar, only to be ruled out for the offside. Townsend was having a good day in goal, but nearly dropped the ball here when he was smothered around by two Western Springs players. Springs were searching for that much needed goal and players from both sides ended up getting a little heated. Referee Hayden Tutbury came down to call the players off. Derek Taiku and Josh Margetts went into the ball. Springs came in with a free kick with Townsend punching this ball away. Later on, Semi was found dancing around the Springs defence where he unleashed this stunning shot which was inches away from the goal. With Springs needing something to bring them back into the game, Bull tried his luck from outside the box, but this attempt landed right on top of the goal. Semi was proving to be an issue and with the pressure on Parker, the Springs keeper had to clear it away as quickly as possible. Springs were desperate, and with these two chances on goal, they just couldn't quite find the back of the net. In the 79th minute, Scott Midgley was put in the sin bin for descent.
With only four minutes left to go, Aish was through, but he was brought down here by Jamie Woodlock. A free kick to Springs saw Connor Probert step up and smash home this set piece to pull one back for the hoops. Springs had all the momentum to find an equaliser. They were unable to execute their chances. The match ended with Hamilton Wanderers taking home all three points.